You know, I'm a type of guy for all intents and purposes that I'll say things because I want people or things in which I really can't control to ultimately prove me wrong. I want that to be fuel to the fire. Like, you know, oh, well, they're not looking too good. Or, yeah, I want this team to tank. They might as well. They've showed no guts all year anyway. Or, yeah, yeah, why don't you go back out and use drugs, you know? Your life will be so much better. You won't have to deal with emotions. You won't, you know, realize who you truly are. Why don't you just hide behind that mask? Hoping that that'll be the, like, yo, he's trying to tell me that's not the way without badgering me and telling me what and what not to do, like. Or, oh, you know, he's really mad and he expects better, like, so, I say that to say, normally this is where I would say that last night on Sunday night football really pissed me off. And in a way it did. But I try not to let something in which I cannot control have too much control over and consumption over my emotions. I'm just an asshole with an opinion. Um, but this is Busy's Block. We are talking Eagles football. And when I invest in something so highly, like I have... My Philadelphia Eagles over the years, I've been here good times, bad times, anywhere in between. Um, good decisions, bad decisions, head scratchers like, what the hell are you guys doing? And I have defended this franchise. And today, I sit before you flabbergasted because I just can't do it. I cannot defend what... Um, Doug Peterson did, and that was allow himself to be a puppet. And the puppet master up above him gave him marching orders last night. Do we have to go into detail? If you know, you know. Eh, that wasn't just a spur of the moment. Oh, hey, we're going to throw Nate Sutfeld in. Oh, hey, why don't we throw to a guy that we drafted in the second round two years ago and everybody's been calling a bus and he'll make... Two amazing ass catches and make us and we'll make them look stupid. But meanwhile, knowing that our real loyalists will be like, well, wait a minute. If he's capable of this now, what? why hasn't he been in, in the game all year? I will go over the Carson Wentz thing in just a moment because I have a mixed opinion on that as well. Did I want my Eagles to lose last night? You know, I for the draft purposes, it would have been better, but let's be real. Does Howie Roseman know how to fucking draft a wide receiver anyway? No, nah, no. Nah. But with the sixth overall pick, you can't really miss. You, you can't miss because there's two can't-miss prospects winking you in the face. That'll probably both be there at six, and I'm talking about one Jamar Chase... And one um, Devonta Smith. Now, Chase might be gone because it can be argued Joe, Joe Burrow is going to be like, look, A.J. Green's getting old. Yeah, T. Higgins is nice. Yeah, Tyler Boyd's I right. Get me my go-to on the outside. Get me the go-to the year you guys got all this film on me and viewed me so highly because that motherfucker was a helping hand. So, Jamar Chase might be gone at pick number four. Absolutely. We're not going to deny... Or pick five. I think they pick right in front of us. Because I believe the Falcons are number four. Yes. Yes. Um, the Falcons might take him. Julio's getting older. More trade rumors. You never know. But Devonta Smith should be there for the taking at six. And they're probably not going to take him. Howie Roseman's too incompetent. You wanted to start this game with Nate Sudfeld? I have no problem with that. We're coming out the gate and admitting, hey, we're not playing the win here. You know, we're, we're playing just basically to see what's what's what and who's who and who, who we want to keep around next year and who really is just a cap casualty. Um, they didn't do that. They didn't do that. They didn't do it for the right reasons. Nate Sutfeld came in the game in the fourth quarter when we were still competing. And the sick thing is, as much as they tried to tank that game, the Redskins tried even harder 
to let the New York Giants win that division for whatever reason. Because there's no way you can tell me that the Washington football team is that damn bad. They're not. I seen them score 34 points on, on that same defense they played last night, which is even more depleted now than it was week one by far. And you're going to tell me they couldn't barely but muster up 20 points? Really? I, I don't buy it. I don't buy it. I don't. I don't. And here's why I don't buy it. And it's not that the Washington football team has digressed. It is because they seen a team throwing in the towel and making a laughing stock of them and the other franchises in the NFL, and they weren't having it. And I don't blame them. I don't. It's sickening. It's appalling. It's disgusting. And I'm ashamed to be an Eagles fan today. There's been a lot of times where, yeah, after a loss, I didn't want to wear my jersey. Or, yeah, I didn't really want to talk about a devastating loss to the Cowboys or to the Giants. But that last night, that was the most shameful act I might have ever seen in sports. Ever. I'm a pro wrestling fan, right? I love the pageantry of it. I love the fact that it's not staged. Those title belts really don't mean anything unless you're inside the sport or a huge fan. Um, the wins and losses, pff, throw them out the window because that's written down on a piece of paper anyway. Um, it's already predetermined who's counting the lights and who's going over. What I love is the fact that they put their all in the, into what they do inside that ring and on the microphone. Um, it, it's acting. Um, they have to be amazing at what they do. Uh, pro wrestling is not an easy thing to do. Um, timing, precision, accuracy of landing high risk maneuvers and taking putting your body on the line is not something that you can write on a piece of paper. So none of that, when you say pro wrestling is fake, you're, you're fooling yourself because it, they don't have stunt doubles. There's not, yeah, sure. Um, the things that have been happening lately, a less bliss pouring gasoline on herself. That wasn't gasoline. Absolutely not. The fiend getting set ablaze. That was a stunt dummy, obviously. But when they do moves, when they jump off the top rope, when they cut a promo on the mic, ain't nobody, you know, sometimes, yeah, it's suggested what they should say on the microphone, but a lot of that has been their own improvision lately. Um, the risks they take, going through tables, hitting the ring mat, yeah, those are bumps, and them bumps don't feel good. I know from experience. Last night, the Eagles took a bump. The Eagles took a bump. And what they did was far beyond a stage board. It was fake. And that's not how you honor the game. And I, I could sit here and give you the analytics, but I'd rather not. The fact of the matter is, Dougie had his marching orders from Howie. Hey, go tell Jalen to look like garbage. Oh, he doesn't want to? We're going to take him out. Hey, you got to tell the kicker to miss this field goal. Oh, he doesn't want to? We're going to go for it on fourth down. And we're going to make Jalen look bad. And then when we do, he's going to get pissed and say, look, take me out. I don't want to be a part of this. I would not be mad at all if Jalen Hurts comes out and says, yo, you're talking about trading Carson? Trade me with him. I'd rather be a backup than be here conducting this shit show. Like that that's <laughs> you wanna win a game. You don't ever wanna lose. I mean, yeah, that game had no bearing whatsoever. And it's end result is what a lot of us fans wanted, but not in that manner. Not that way. Not in that style. The way they did it just it, it's a disgrace to the game. And you argue me all you want. And I could care less about the New York Giants fans. Oh, the fucking Eagles. Fuck you. Quite frankly. Like, I have no problem with any of you. Because I probably don't know a lot of you personally. But fuck you. <laughs> like, we don't like you as a team. Um, that's no secret. You don't like us. Um, what were we supposed to do? Just go out and, 
you know, look like world beef, step our, oh, hey, the Giants playoff lives are at stake. Let's step our game up. Like, that's not real. But I can understand your frustration in the way we did it. Yeah, but you shouldn't have been bags and sucked for 15 weeks of the season and decided the last week, oh, hey, we're actually going to look half decent. No, nah. no. Nah. Do you really think you deserve that playoff spot at six wins? You really think you could have beat Tom Brady? You don't have no Eli anymore. Come on, let's be realistic.